take a look at this because I think I what is going on with the stormtrooper? Mm. Every day I wake up, it seems like it's moving up in price. Where is it gonna max out at? And is this one of the best drops that we've gotten on VV so far? Let me go ahead and take a look at the collectibles. Uh, 843, 17 gems. Are we going to hit 20 gems today? Are we going to pass 20 gems today? It could be a possibility. It very well could. Now, is this the only time this is going to happen? Or can we reflect this type of action on another piece or item? We're going to talk about it. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Let's get into it. <laughs> Seventeen gems. Let me get it. Let me get it again. Let me get it again. Let me get it again. I'm gonna absorb it. I'm gonna enjoy this moment. I'm gonna take my time on this one. How's everybody doing out there? I hope you're doing beautiful. I hope you're doing beautiful. I hope you're feeling electric. I hope the day has so many surprises ahead of you. Right? There's gonna be a lot of good things happening today. It's gonna be a beautiful day today. I can already feel it. I can already feel it. And one of the reasons I'm feeling so good is because for some reason, I'm not into Stormtroopers. I'm not into Star Wars. I'm not into any of this. But I decided to hold a few of them in my wallet. And man, am I happy. Now, the question is, is this going to go any higher? Right? Is this going to go any higher? White Rabbit, how you feeling, White Rabbit? How you feeling, White Rabbit? I appreciate you for becoming a channel member. I appreciate you for watching. If you guys are watching this on X, shout outs to you guys. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, shout outs to you guys. But I think this is a show on X now. I think we're we're gonna, yes, we're gonna keep streaming on YouTube, but this is a show on X. Okay? Oh, I just had to make that clear for myself. How you doing, White Rabbit? I appreciate you for joining the channel. What's good, Ajo Daryl? Good morning to you, man. How you feeling out here? What are you buying? Can you tell me in the comments down below, what are you buying? Better question, what are you selling? Are you selling Stormtroopers? Are you buying Stormtroopers? Let me know in the comments down below. Why is there less than 1,000 on the market out of 1,500 sold? Why is there less than 1,000 on the market out of 1,500 sold? We're going to talk about that C-Spill. What's good, Kid Arcade and fam? C-Boogie. How you feeling, C-Boogie? C-Spill. How you feeling, C-Spill? We got a lot of C's in the building. It's the open C. Now, let's go and check out the Stormtrooper real quick now. Let me know in the comments down below if you went for the drop. Let me know in the comments down below if you went for the drop. That's, that's, the, first, that's the first one I need to know. Most of you did. And I'm pretty sure that everybody was able to get it. I heard there was 20-minute rebounds. Right? I heard there was 20 minute rebounds. How is that even possible? I have no idea. But there was 20 minute rebounds. Were you one of those people that got a 20 minute rebound? Now, yesterday I put out a poll and I asked everybody how many stormtroopers did you end up getting in the aftermarket? How many stormtroopers did you end up getting in the aftermarket? How many did you get on the drop? Eat your drop? How many did you end up getting in the aftermarket? Let me know in the comments down below. 
were you one of those crazy people and got 10, 20, 30 of them? Let me know in the comments. Plus five. I'm going to put plus five, plus 10. We're going to keep it lower. Yesterday's poll had like 10, 20, 30. I'm thinking I'm going to lower it. It's going to be 5, 10, 15, plus 15. And then we're going to do a plus 20. And that's just going to be, that's just going to be for everybody that's in here that's really, really, really going in on these, on these stormtroopers, right? Have you been buying stormtroopers? Because you've been seeing the price move up so fast. That could bury, that happened to me. Had, I, before I went to bed last night, I decided to buy two more stormtroopers before I went to bed last night. And that was a great, great choice. It was one of the best moves I've done in the past 72 hours because I've been doing some moves in the market. Actually, no, I'm lying. One of the best moves that I've been doing recently is the Scotty Young comic um, Rise of um, X1 and Fall of X2 one. Both of those covers, beautiful piece, beautiful piece. But before I went to bed, I went off and I bought two Stormtroopers, right? I bought one at 14, 15, and I was thinking to myself, is this going to go back down to 10? Guys, I don't think this is going to go back down to 10. I don't think so. I think we're going to hit 20. I think we can easily hit 20, right? And one of the reasons is because you can never have too many Stormtroopers. You can never have too many Stormtroopers. Never. If you have two, you can have three. If you have three, you can have four. And actually, the more stormtroopers you have, the better. If you have a Princess Leia, you could only have one Leia. If you have a Luke Skywalker, you only need one Luke Skywalker. If you have a Darth Vader, you only need one Darth Vader. If you have a Kylo Ren, you only need one Kylo Ren. But when it comes to Stormtroopers, that's like one of the pieces that you can never have too many of. And if you do have too many, you can never have enough. Now, the question I need to ask you is, can the movement of this item, like the Stormtrooper, reflect on any other item? Could there be another item like the Stormtrooper to where it's like the more you have, the better it gets? Because I get it. Anybody can stack Luke Skywalker, but nobody really wants to stack a Luke Skywalker. Most people, if you're here to collect, you might just need one. Oh, let me just get one. Maybe even two. Possibly three. But after three, you don't really need any more Luke Skywalkers. With these Stormtroopers, it's almost like the more you have, the cooler you are. And there's already competitions. There's already, there's already leaderboards on X. Guys, I'm, I'm working on a painting right now. I'm, wor I'm working on this one. And I'm working on a Miles Morales. Yeah, I know, I know. I know. Fresh, fresh. Yeah, I just I just looked over here and I saw this and I decided to show it off. Can we can can we see this happen with another item? What can possibly drop in the future that's gonna make you wanna just stack in in infinitely? Right? Because that's basically what's happening. People are probably stacking, and yes. Yes, they're stacking to try to sell in the future, but they're also stacking because they know that if you have a showroom and you got a Luke Skywalker, a Darth Vader, you're going to want 100 Stormtroopers. What else can we get that would move like this? I was trying to make a list of what else we can get that could possibly move like this. Pokemon. Mm. What else can drop? Not Pokemon because there's no infinite characters. I'm talking about, you know, the little green soldiers, the little green soldiers that you play with when you're a kid and they have the base and there's one with holding a rifle. There's one. If they drop that, that could be another one that you need a hundred of. What other drops can possibly drop that you can have and you can never have too much of? The Stormtroopers is one. I need to know. 
Are you guys ready to get this episode started? I'm ready. Let's go. Alright, so, you know, another thing, let me look at the Seeker Rare. The Seeker Rare has been moving, but it hasn't been moving. And it's obvious because it's not standing, right? Nobody wants a, 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 a Stormtrooper on his knees. Nobody really wants that. If we, if we want a Stormtrooper, we're going to get the animated one. This is one of the best drops that we've had on Vivi as far as activity, as far as edition size, as far as popularity, as far as price. Because this one was only below retail for like half a day or half a day or something like that, right? It was only below retail for like an, a few hours or something like that. It started going above retail fairly quick. And it's obvious. <clears throat> you can never have enough. You know, you can never have enough. This is one of those pieces that people wake up and say, I need more. I need more. I need more. There's some people walking around in the Twitter spaces right now on X. There's people walking around in the spaces thinking to themselves, I need to sell more stuff because I need to buy another one. I need to sell more stuff because I need to buy another one. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was one of those people last night. I wanted to get one more Stormtrooper, and I didn't have the fiat to put in. Well, I did have the fiat to put in, but I wasn't going to put in any fiat into the app. I wanted to sell something to get a Stormtrooper, and I sold a white Lambo last night for 20 gems. I know what you're going to say to yourself. Oh, you lost seven gems. I think I paid 27 for that Lambo. It's okay, though. It's okay. I sold it for 20 gems last night because I wanted to buy one more Stormtrooper before I went to bed. Now, the question that I have for everybody is, if the price is moving up this fast... Could it possibly be that people are going to FOMO and try to jump into it now? Something else that I've been noticing is that everybody's paying attention to the Stormtrooper right now, right? Everybody, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Are you one of those people that are checking the Stormtrooper prices consistently? I am. Every time I open the app, I go and look at the Stormtrooper. The prices are moving up. Where is it going to stop? Where is it going to stop? Is it going to stop at 20? Is it going to stop at 25? Is it going to stop at 30? Is this item just going to go up continuously? No, it has to have a cap. Where is it going to stop? Can somebody let me know in the comments down below? I need to know. Do we have 1,500 people on the site? No, but you don't need 1,500, 15,000 people on the site. You just need some people that just want to keep stacking. Believe me, believe me that there's people on here that are going to be buying a Stormtrooper every week for the next year. Th there's going to be people trying to stack this piece. It is what it is. What other piece can drop like this that can get us like this? Right? I can't think of another one. The Little Green Soldiers. You guys remember the Little Green Soldiers that we used to play with? Little Green Soldiers. Boy, these these cats right here. You remember these, right? These right here. If they drop this, this might possibly be another one of those pieces that people just want to continuously stack, no matter how many they have, especially if they have, like, five rarities, right? They have to have five rarities. They have to have the, the little green soldier running. They have to have the little green soldier throwing a grenade. You're going to have to have the one on the floor. With the rifle? For sure. For sure. This is one of those other drops that they can possibly release that would have the same effect of people just wanting to buy, buy, buy. What other drop can possibly reflect the movement of this drop? I can't think of another one. I'm thinking about the Green Soldiers right now. I'm trying to think of what else can they possibly drop where I'm going to turn around and say, I want more. I want more. Vehicles. Fair enough. I get it. Vehicles. But vehicles is not going to hit the same, right? Because it's like if you have a white Lambo, 
yes, you're going to want more Lambos and show them off, but you're going to want every color Lambo. You're not going to want to sit there and show off 100 white Lambos. Maybe. Maybe you want you might want 100 white Lambos next to 100 white Stormtroopers. Let me know in the comments down below. What other drop can reflect, oh, maybe like a Lord of the Rings, like if they release the 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 gargoyles, right, like the monsters in Lord of the Rings, you might want 100 of those or you know, something like that, like an army. The Stormtroopers is an army. What other type of armies exist out there that you might want to sit there and start stacking no matter how? I think, you know what, as far as popularity, the Stormtroopers is the only one, bro. Like, even in the real world when people dress up as Stormtroopers, you know, for example, if you were a Star Wars freak, right, and you said to yourself, okay, I want to create a club. I want to create a club. Oh, Legos. If we get Legos, people are going to want to just start stacking shapes or Lego characters. Possibly. Maybe. I don't know. Not too sure. If you were to create a group of friends and you were all deciding to cosplay. Oh, don't do that, Stormtrooper. Don't do that. Don't do that. That doesn't look cool. That doesn't look cool. Is this stormtrooper twerking? Oh, don't do that! Don't do that! Don't! I I don't want to! I don't want to see the stormtroopers twerking. That's something that I don't want to see. As far as popularity and stacking, nothing is gonna beat the the stormtrooper. It just is what it is. You gotta love us rabbits. If you and your friend were going to start twerking on camera dressed as a stormtrooper, right? What is the first thing that you're going to think about when you bring up the idea or somebody else brings up the idea? I'm going to tell you what's the first thing you think about. The first question is, how many people can we get to join us? Because if you're walking down the street and you see one stormtrooper, like, who cares? A stormtrooper? Okay. But if you see two stormtroopers, that's a little bit cooler, right? Okay, they got two stormtroopers. All right, that's cool. That's cool. If you got three, okay, 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 okay. They're, they're, they're cooking. They're cooking, right? But if you start seeing five, 10, 15, okay, now you have to look and you might have to start asking questions. If you see 100 people dressed up as stormtroopers, see, the thing with the stormtroopers is that there's no, there's no cap. People are just going to want to be a stormtrooper. Hey, could it possibly be that the common could surpass the secret rare, right? Super rare. Can this one pass? No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. I think, I think that people are stacking this so hard that as soon as they start needing money, they're going to start dump, dumping it in the marketplace. Could that possibly be happening, right? Could they announce Wolverine, a stat, a wolf, over Wolverine statue, right? Let's just say they release a Wolverine statue with 2,000 editions. Or just like the Miles Morales, do you think we're going to start seeing stormtroopers in the marketplace? Are you going to start dumping? Be super honest. Be super honest. If you're watching this right now, I need you to be super honest with us. Super rare. I need you to be super honest with us, right? Are you stacking stormtroopers right now just to sell them down the line? Or are you stacking stormtroopers to possibly create a Star Wars environment in your showroom? That's the first question. The second question is, are you stacking stormtroopers? But as soon as something gets announced, you're going to start dumping them in the marketplace. Not that that's what you expect to do, but that's what you're going to be forced to do. Because they might announce something that you might be way too interested in. And you're going to say to yourself, you know what? I got 25 stormtroopers. I could possibly get rid of two or three just so I can get them back later on. Is that is that you? Is that you? Be honest. It, we're amongst family here. You could be honest with me. Don't be too honest. But be honest. I'm not going to judge you. I, I promise. I won't judge you. Let me read some of these comments, man. What's good? 
What's good, Dro? How you doing? Why is there less than... Because people don't care, bro. See, spill. People are going to stack this item, bro. Like, this item is going to go past 25 gens before the weekend. Watch out, weekend, cuz here I come. What's good, Kid Arcade? What's good? What's good? I appreciate you. See, Boogie. Do we have 15 people? Got 10 on the drop? I'm good. Ooh, Adro Daryl got 10 on the drop. That is right. Dro, have you considered selling? Have you thought about it? Has it crossed your mind? Has it crossed your mind that you should have gotten more? Are you going to be just happy with 10? Are you waiting for the prices to go down before you can jump in there and get 10 more? Let me know in the comments down below. Or are you that much of a Star Wars fan to where you need to go back and get more? Or are you just getting it because you somewhat like Star Wars? You have a Vader. You have a Luke. You might as well get 10 Stormtroopers at least minimum. If so, in your mind, is 10 Stormtroopers the minimum? Is that the minimum that you need to have to be respected as a Star Wars elite collector or as a Star Wars master collector for Star Wars, for the Stormtroopers? How many do you need to have? Do you need to have at least 10? What's the minimum? Let me know in the comments down below. How could it have sold out and you could only get one at the drop? I think you were able to get more on the drop. I, th I think I was able to get like two or three on the drop. And I heard people were getting rebounds. I got several on the rebound. I bought seven out of store, none on the marketplace. Ledges, that's right. Congratulations to you. C-Spill, Adro Dero, was it unlimited at the drop? It was, C-Spill. I think that you were able to just get as many as you can. See, the thing is when you go for drops, as soon as you purchase it, I have a big issue. As soon as I purchase it, I sit there and try to look at the animation to see the green truck. Because I want to see what kind of rarity I have. I, but that's not how you play the game. The way how you play the game is as soon as you go for the drop and you, your gems are disappeared, you got to X out and go back and get another one. But that didn't happen for me. I think I was just able to buy the second one right away. I didn't even have to wait for a rebound. Or did I have to wait for the rebound? I completely forgot. I think I might have had to wait for the rebound. I don't think I was able to just get, get them back to back. So yeah, Adro Daryl. How were you able to get 10 back-to-back? Sea -back? spill. Nope. I got nine initially due to the captchas. Those damn bees and flowers. Then it sold out. Then I got one more rebound later. That's right. Number one VV YouTuber. Kid Arcade. Oh, man, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Chico Rocco, no more. Let's play the Labbit song. Bro, how you don't want to play the Labbit song. Nobody here, nobody here wants to play the Labbit song. Unless you guys want to. Let me know in the comments down below. Rabbits. Rabbit. I can't really play too much of that because we're going to get demonetized and you guys already know I can't play that game. All right. No more Chico Rocco. But why will you bring it up? But you're the only one that brings it up. Want a free digital collectible? Head over to Chico Rocco and use the link in the description or go ahead and scan the QR code right now. They are giving away collectibles every single day. This is my collection and this one here is one of my personal favorites. Look, mom, the augmented reality features are cool. You can buy, burn, sell, and collect an endless amount of Chico Rocco. So what are you waiting for? Click the link. Do you guys still mess around with Chico Rocco? Let me know in the comments down below, bro. I haven't played that commercial in so long. I haven't even checked my Chico Rocco account for so long. And um, it just is what it is. But let me know in the comments down below. What is the limit or what is the minimum amount of stormtroopers that you need to be respected by your fellow star wars nerds let me know in the comments down below and um i think we could jump into the next topic <laughs> right so we got the stormtrooper is the is it is the stormtrooper the best drop ever right is the stormtrooper the best oh the reveal of the journey of demetria i know what you're asking yourselves what are you talking about the journey of demetria i'm gonna tell you right now this is the journey of Demetria, okay? There is three rarities that are going down. How do I get out of this? All right, there is three rarities that are going down. Now, this is available right now. There's 48 pieces minted. I'm gonna reveal these in about 15 minutes. In about 15 minutes, I'm gonna reveal this. There's three rarities. If you got one, then this is the picture that you're looking at, but as soon as I reveal it, you're gonna see what your item is. You're going to see what your item is as soon as I reveal it. As of right now, you're going to know what you got. 
but there's a few different things that you might have gotten. You can get one of these pieces right here. You get one of these pieces right here. Or you can get one of these pieces right here. There's three rarities. This yellow one, I think there's only like four of them. Four or five in total. There's only four or five of these. And, um, you know, and the rest and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and reveal that in a second. What other drops can reflect the troopers? Cryptoids, Yoda. Let's go talk about Cryptoids real quick, man. Let's go talk about Cryptoids real, 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 real quick. I'm also going to go check out the Twitter. There's a lot of things going down. Cryptoids. Let me see what Cryptoids got. Oh! Actually, whoa, 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 whoa. For anybody, for anybody that's been keeping up with the Kardashians, well, with the Cryptoys, for anybody that's been keeping up with the Cryptoys, I have an announcement for you guys. And I, I'm not too sure if this is going to be bullish, and I'm pretty sure it is. And I think that this is the direction they're going in. So follow me on this little, how would you say, rabbit hole. Is that what you want to call it? That's what we're going to call it. Okay, so, you know how the superstars money, right? They start about Shara. Shara Senderoff, whatever her name is. I'm sorry to disrespect you. I, I don't want to say your name wrong. I just don't know what your name is right off the bat, but I think it's Shara. Shmoney. So, Shara. I wonder how come her name is Shara with an S-H, right? It's like, shh, Shara. Uh, I, I, it's Because you usually hear Sarah, not Shara. So now I'm thinking, you know how Cardi B says money, but sh money. I wonder if she added that sh Shara just to, no, no, that's, that's, that's too ratchet. That's too ratchet. Cryptoids. Let me get this banner out of here. So they, we found, or the superstar money, found a connection between Cryptoids and Futureverse, right? And they found connections between this woman named Shara, all right. So let me actually look up this video. Uh, future verse. I actually took notes of of something that 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 popped up. Let me let me see. Future verse. Let me see if I can find this. If I can find this interview, it is right here. All right. I was watching this last night. I mean, what's to come? I was watching this interview, and this interview took place. Three months ago, okay? Now, I had a, I, I watched the whole thing. I'm 56 minutes in. Bro, I took notes. Where's my notes at? Um, 23, at 23 minutes, at 23 minutes. And, and by the way, I, I want to head to the next part, which I think was really important, is that this week was, uh, was the launch of the Gods and Goblins beta release. And before... All right, let me, let me fast forward through this because... Right here, we get into the mind of the founders of Futureverse. I don't know if Futureverse is going to be a thing. We're going to wait and find out. Apparently, a lot of people have already been waiting long enough. And that's another thing that put things into perspective, right? Vivi is not the only project where people have been promised roadmaps and have been promised things. No, there's a bunch of projects out here that are still running that have changed their roadmaps because the space just keeps changing in so many different ways. Okay, so right here, this is an interview with Shara and the other co-founder and the founders of Futureverse, which is the Ready Player One metaverse, right? I there's There's something that he said that was really bullish to me, at least, as far as how he thinks about the space and his approach. And I'm going to let this play for a second so you guys can hear what this guy said right here. Understand the tech that this showcases. Right here. Yeah, I mean, so I think... This is one of the founders of Futureverse. I just want you to hear a, what he said right here because he really broke it down and understands where the space is at. So let's just listen to it for a second. That's the really cool thing here is that um, like every almost everything else we do, we're trying to like um, innovate, really innovate and like push the boundaries out a bit and trying to find something new here. And so um, what we look, when we kind of thought about um, building Grumble, there were a couple of things on our mind and most important, to, the two most important things were. So right here, they're talking about a game or a partner that they brought into their ecosystem. So Futureverse has an ecosystem of many games that are going to be interoperable with this one world. These are the co-founders and the founders or the, the main honchos of the project. 
I don't know what his name is. Her name is Shara. She's connected to Cryptoys. It's in her portfolio. We're going to get to that in a second. But let's just peep game of what my boy has to say right here. We, um, you know, in our research and particularly the time I've spent up in China and Asia, um, streaming commerce is this enormous thing that is like streaming commerce is an enormous thing. Streaming commerce is an enormous thing. And that couldn't be like that. The, he couldn't have said that better himself. I mean, you could just take a look at YouTube, anything, all the live content, all the streaming content has been more and more relevant as the years come close because there's, there's a sense of when you edit videos and upload, there's a disconnect. But when people are live streaming, there's a purity to it, right? There, there's a sense of connection. You're watching it live. You're watching it happen in real time. It's not something that's been pre-recorded. When you're watching something, you're connecting with that person because they're right there saying it at the same time that you're listening to in real time. Obviously, there's a lag, but that's the whole internet. But, you know, the streaming commerce is very important. Let's listen to this. Like taking over the world um, of um, how things are bought and sold and marketed and um you know the fastest growing commerce um experiences in the world are streaming commerce experiences on on these um platforms like TikTok. and so um we felt that um you know there was a there was a gap in the market to link um that experience to um web3 and also to he is trying to link the live streaming experience to web3 how do you do that, right? How do you link it? A streaming commerce linked to Web3. It's gamification. That's gamification. If you could play a game with somebody across the world in real time, that's live streaming. You're not sitting there talking. You can't. Live streaming is not just you on YouTube. Live streaming is you just having a direct contact with somebody that's not in your vicinity and you're streaming it live. Playing a video game live and then incorporating Web3, which will be assets in a video game that you can put in the marketplace after, you know, that is where the future is going and that's where it needs to go. And that's where I'm the most bullish on. But just listening to what he has to say really puts that in, 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 a, in a, a bigger perspective to myself, but he's about to drop a bomb. So let's just listen in. Um, extend what the essence of that into the kind of metaverse and game. The essence of Web3. What is the essence of Web3? It's ownership. If I can go back in time and log back into my PlayStation account, I have a PlayStation account, guys, the break boy. Don't follow me because I haven't been active in like five years, six years, seven years. But if I go into my PlayStation account and if I can go back in there and sell all my guns and all my bows and all my outfits and all my avatars from Last of Us, Grand Theft Auto 5, I would have some money right now. Maybe because I remember in, um, in Grand Theft Auto 5, I had to put money into it because I had a, a purchase like a, a I, I wanted to get my head tattooed. So you had to pay extra for that. What if I can go back and sell that to somebody else today and that tattoo doesn't exist in the current marketplace? Oh, my God, you got a vintage tattoo from 2010. Oh, that's tight. Can I buy that? I mean, I, I would love that. But there's no ownership, right? There's no ownership because as soon as I stop playing Grand Theft Auto, the, the, the educational aspect of, of the weapon I bought was the, the utility. And, and, and that's enough, right? Because if I bought something on Grand Theft Auto and I played with it for 100 hours, I don't want to sell it. I'm not trying to sit there and trying to sell it. One, because I, um, the culture wasn't that. But two, because I played with it. The educational value of it was enough to keep me satisfied to just put it down and not think about it. But if I had ownership, not only was I going to get educational or a, a entertainment value out of the item, but now I can sell it, that's ownership. And that's how we connect the Web3 to gamification. I'm asking for a friend though. Gaming environment. And I think um, Web3 has some really powerful um, differentiated bits that um, can enable us to create these experiences like Grumble um, and do some really cool things that wouldn't be as easy to do in the non-Web3 world. And so... Um, why does he have a DeLorean in the background? And why does she have a DeLorean in the background? Obviously, they might have the IP of the DeLorean. I'm, I'm almost certain that they have the IP. I mean, they've used it on their trailers, right? They've used it on their trailers. Now they're using it as the backdrop of this video. This was three months ago. This had to be planned. When they said, hey, we got to go live in a few hours. What are you thinking? Oh, yeah, let, let's, call, let's, let's talk real quick. 
let's plan out what we're going to say and how we're going to approach it. Okay, cool. They go on, and one of them said, hey, do you want to use a background? Yeah, we should use a background. Okay, what do you think we should use? Okay, well, we just we just locked in the DeLorean, right? If, you, if anybody's working on a future metaverse, if anybody is working on any aspect of any type of augmented reality experience that has to do with the future, and this is what we're at, you're going to want a DeLorean because a DeLorean is a symbol of that. So that's why when you go on VV, you see a DeLorean. When you go on, um, on Spatial, people are building DeLoreans on Spatial that are already drivable, and you can actually drive them around in the space. They have also been using the DeLorean as a symbolic item to, to, to relay that, that, that message, right? And I think that them using that backdrop was, so the was on purpose. The second thing was um, how do you create funnels? Because if you look out there. At how do you create funnels is what he just said. And I think that's the most important aspect of the space, right? Because even for myself, when I, when I start doing my project and I start thinking about the Kid Arcade, the Air, I'm not thinking of the regular people. I'm just thinking about everybody in the community already. So I think that most companies, and this is just me guessing, but I think that most companies are focused and curating the current community in front of them but to also think on how to onboard the regular person onto the space is gonna be crucial to the space. I think that we should be spending more time on how to, and in order for, to do that, we need experiences, right? Utility, but the entertainment value could be utility. I think we're gonna have to get rid of some of these words, NFT is like one of them words that we just got to stop saying. Digital assets, digital collectibles, whatever it is that you feel comfortable using, right? And it's just, it's just curating the space so we can start attracting the regular person. But in order for them to come in here, the regular person, they have to have fun. It all comes down to fun. If you come into the space and it's not fun, people are not going to want to hang out. If you come into the space and everybody's, oh, everybody's fudding, then nobody's going to want to, you just got to make it fun. The problem is that there's nothing fun to do. Everybody's building out games, and we're just waiting, right? There've been, there's been some games that have, that have already been built, but low-key, high-key, they've been trash. So we need some real good games like Grand Theft Auto. Maybe a gaming company has to just collaborate with MetaMask and, and, and allow you to bring in your assets into an open-world game like Grand Theft Auto, like Fortnite. You know, that's just going to be nuts, right? the landscape in particular in web3 gaming there aren't very many things that have done very well at all um and in terms of daily active users most of them are pretty shit as far as daily active users most projects are not are, i'm not gonna say the word he used but i want to say it but i'm not gonna say it. trash right the experiences that we've had up until this point have been a little questionable Nothing has been fun. So I think that's one of the reasons that we haven't really seen anything. I think it's just going to happen. One day, somebody's going to create a game that's going to go nuts, and it's just going to create a, a wave, right? It's going to create a wave. Um, and so um, how do we kind of get an audience, a gaming audience or a non-Web3 audience interested in things, and how do you take those first few steps in a really simple and non-confrontational way? in a way that doesn't require to have lots of um, knowledge about what's going on under the hood and you can come across things and start to like step into an experience in a simple way. And so if you put those two things together, the future of where commerce is going, um, you know, this. I, I could just stop it right there. You guys can go and look at the interview on your own. But what he just said here was crazy. How do you bring in the normal person in here? Allow them to have a great experience without really having to know what's under the hood. You know, OpenSea is doing a great job onboarding people with just email. And it's almost like the internet back in the days. I remember having to have a website in the early 2000s. And in order for you to have a website, you had to hire somebody to build you a website. Now, you could build one on Squarespace. And it took time because when you first started to build a website, even MySpace, you guys remember MySpace. 
if you used MySpace, you had a you had to learn a little bit of coding, right? You went to MyGenX or whatever the website was where you created, you generated a code, and the and you just copy and paste the code onto the to the to the to the to MySpace. You remember that? Well, now you don't have to do that. Now you just click upload, and the upload it does it for you. And I think the Web three is gonna be just like that. These companies are gonna figure it out to where all you gotta is gonna be dummy proof. Where right now it's a little bit complicated. You have to have a wallet. You gotta remember your key phrase, which isn't really that complicated. Most people are just lazy because anybody can get this. It's easy. A key phrase. Get your wallet. Keep it secured because you can't sit there and reset your password to Yahoo or Gmail. Just keep it secure and use that as your wallet. Now this, you're gonna have to connect it to whatever platforms you wish to use, but you gotta do your due diligence, do your own research, don't connect your wallet to weird things. You might possibly want two wallets, one that holds your assets and one so you can go and explore the world. We need to dummy it down for these people. What do you guys think? So the reason I'm talking about this, because this woman right here, I think she has something cooking up under her sleeve. I think she has something going on up under her sleeve. And I'm going to tell you what it is. So, I went online and I found the milk chug. I found the milk chug. What is the milk chug? Well, the milk chug is an animated short series of the Cool Cats NFT. Right, blind taste test. <laughs> Coffee from my brilliant machine or Chuck's us. These are NFTs. Um, two. Totally two. Totally two. Totally two. two. Ah! Tell me your secrets, Chuck's! <laughs> Dude, you're never getting in there. Cool Cat's NFT. What? He's probably playing the beans jazz to keep him smooth. Ridiculous. You keep the flavor smooth by Now, why am I showing you this animation? Why why is it that we're sitting here watching the Cool Cats NFT animation? Why is it that we're watching this? Well, one of the reasons is because I was so intrigued that they had an animation and I was like, whoa, this is how you get the mainstream audience into the space. This is a this is a great tool, right? Because if you have a good character. What's a good character be, without a good story? And how, how do you give a character character? That's, that's genius. That is genius. How do you give a character character? You make people fall in love with the character and its characteristics. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to play the whole thing. You guys can look for it on your own. But when, you, when, you, when, when the episode finishes. Wait, do you really not know how the sunset works? It's a great episode, well written. The animation is great quality. I believe they have a YouTube channel, the Cool Cats YouTube channel. I already liked the video. I already subscribed. So you guys, 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 if you guys are watching this video right now, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's easy and it's free. It's free. I promise. All right. Why is it that we're watching this? Because look, the credits created by Klon, starring. Zeno as Blue Cat Chugs Coffee Machine. Zeno Robinson, Dan Stevens as Artie, and Maggie Lawson as Joe. I can possibly go on a deep dive on who these people are. They, you know, we're just going to keep it moving, though. Executive producers, Klon, Dylan, and there she is, Shara Senderoff. Shara Senderoff. Shara Senderoff has a background in TV and movies and television, shows, creating shows, doing her thing. If, she's, if she has Cryptoys in her portfolio, could it possibly be that we'll see a Cryptoys animated show? It, are we getting an, are, is, are all these things connected, right? And in order for you to have your own show, what would you need to have? Your own IP. Now, these right here, these pieces right here, I, the, that, that's Cool Cat's NFT right there in the blue. I'm not too sure who this guy in the right is. 
I, I don't know if that's an NFT. I, it looks like an NFT as well. I know this. This is is this Moonbird? I don't think that's Moonbird. Let me look at Moonbird real quick. Is it the NFT? No, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. Huh? Was that it right there? No, wasn't it? There's there's a Moonbird animation. Stop it. There's a Moonbirds. It is a Moonbirds NFT. Let me see the producers on this. The executive producers. Oh, there is no executive producers. All right, all right, all right. Hoot, hoot. So good. Okay, so this might be... Oh, there it is. This is the animated we were just watching. Let me see if there's any description to it. Joe Blue is a milk chug. I love a coffee. Okay. I just, I, I saw this the other day. I saw this yesterday night, actually. I saw this, uh, this animated, and all the dots just started connecting to me, and I can, I could definitely see Cryptoys being a part of this ecosystem. I could definitely see a Cryptoys character in this animated show if they ever wanted to introduce a new character, and that's the beautiful part of this ecosystem, right? The best part of being a, a part of an ecosystem is if they're creating these animated shorts and they can introduce any NFT project at any time, this can be an all NFT based. So yeah, I'm just super excited about that. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think? Toy Story, Bucket of Soldiers, yes! That's what I was talking about. The Bucket of Soldiers is exactly, exactly what we need. Do we have 1,500 people on the side? Oh, no, no, no. I got several on the rebound, about seven out of the store, none of the marketplace. Audrey Daryl wasn't, I already saw that. We already saw that. 1124 was the last Stormtrooper that I got. That's right, that's right. Nice, bro. Yo, that mouse, how can I commission one? Audro? it's easy, bro. Just text me. Let me know if you want one, and um, I'll do one for you. I'll do one for you, bro. If you, if yo Yo, guys, if you guys just joined, I was just talking... Just talking. I was just showing off some of the paintings that I've been working on. And I've been working on this Captain America. I've been working on this Captain America last night. This is my second one that I've been working on. I use spray paints, you know, and I got my brushes right here. Maybe I could paint live one day. And I'm, I'm working on a Miles Morales as well. I'm also working on a Miles Morales. And they're not that big, you know, it's it's wood, stretch canvas, you know how I'm doing it, you know how I'm doing it. I, I actually got videos of me painting, like a little time lapse. And um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to paint live. I, I think that is boring, you, just me painting. Mm. Oh, oh, big bro, big bro. Okay, okay, are we done talking about this? Yo, are we done talking about Cryptoys? Cryptoys, shout out to you guys, man. I, I already see where you guys are going with this. You guys are getting spicy with it. You guys are getting spicy with it. All right, let's go back into the Stormtroopers. Let's go back into the Stormtroopers. Yo, the mouse, how can I commission you, Dro? Text me. Foot Clan soldiers from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Legendary, big bro. Legendary. Are the foot soldiers more popular? Let, let, let me look at a list. Maybe I can go online and look at most popular soldiers. No, top 10 celebrity veterans? Nah, stop it. Chuck Norris. Ooh, Chuck Norris would be dope. Most popular soldiers. Fiction. Okay. I, I just typed in the most popular soldiers fiction, top 10. And when, let me see. Let me images. You know, there's no stormtroopers in here, bro. Stop playing. Stop playing. Um, yeah, the Foot Clan would probably be the best. Foot Clan. Foot Clan would be second best. I was actually thinking of um. What was I think? Oh, the little green soldiers from the bucket. Yeah, but these are better. The the, the foot soldiers. Let me see what this looks like. Yeah. Or if we got the Power Rangers and we got the, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if we get foot soldiers, that'd be another one where we could just get an infinite amount of these pieces, right? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's look at these chats real quick. Let's go. What's up, Pink Panther? How you feeling out here? How do we see the other number of the stormtroopers? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. If the invisible woman stands... Wait, if the Invisible Woman stand is at 23 gems, why wouldn't FA animated Stormtrooper floor be at 2530? They look amazing in AR2. True. If they're just way more Stormtroopers, so it's going to take some time for, for them to get eaten up. 
and they will get eaten up. I think that by the end of the weekend, we might have like 500 in the marketplace. Not even lying to you guys. Another thing, the Invisible Woman statue came out last year on April Fool's. We're about to be on April Fool's again. Could it possibly be that the, one, the Invisible Woman pops up out of the April Fool statue. Imagine that. They can definitely do that. That'll be legendary. 10 gems is the best price point grail. That's right. That's right. It will stop when we say it would stop. That's right, Pink Panther. Toy Story Bucket of Soldiers. That's true. That's true. Polka Poke. What's up? Collecting Fire. I appreciate you for joining us. Pink Panther, I appreciate you for joining us. Ford F-150. Clone Troopers. Bam. LOL. <laughs> that's right. It has to be something that has a mask, helmet, to ever been able to be the same stack ability yeah 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 i think so too hey blade matchbox bobblehead sports characters beanie babies legos mr potato head fast and the furious Ooh, fast and the furious we only needed 1500 people to buy 10 oh and that could definitely happen bro like i'm not even in the star wars and i got like four or five of them right now so i could definitely see people having more than 10 easy 1500 people more than 10 that could be, that could happen didn't buy low on gems new tactics i feel you rebounds were happening every two minutes after sold out sign popped up i was able to buy one at 18 minutes and the 20 minutes i have screenshots to prove it as well that's right fro we call me send me those screenshots bro let's just play those on a live stream i still live chico rocco art toys i get two a day now i have almost 300 wow you guys you got almost 300 that's wild i don't even know how many i have to tell you the honest truth but i'm gonna go and check right now i could possibly get one. Ooh, i'm getting a free one right now booyah what did i get i got a toaster head that is right i got a toaster head and uh, oh it's animated i like this i mean i'm not gonna lie i like the quality i like the how the breads look wow that's cool Oh, that's awesome. That That's really creative. I like that. I'm not going to pay a dollar for it, though. And that's the thing. You know, these are all costing a dollar. Let me see what else I can get. Let me go back to the homepage. I think I got my weekly toy. Collect now my daily gift. What is that? It's a family show. Stop it. Let me go and see. Is this one animated also? It is. I'm enjoying this animated joints right here. I like it. I like it. It has the Chico Rocco head as a blimp. I like it. It's really, really, really cool. Let me go and see if I can get a weekly piece also. Collect your first toy now and come back 24 hours a day for a new one. Next. 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 Daily gift. Next. Let me go into the weekly. I already got my weekly. Collect now. Weekly drop next. Let's get that. Boom. I just got it. I don't know what about this one. You know, it has an emoji face. Not a, you know, it's like whatever. It's like whatever. All right. Stormtroopers, guys. Stormtroopers, where you guys at with the new tactics? Oh, love, Kryptoni. I appreciate you, Kryptoni. I'm happy you're here, bro. Oh, I bought one, got the blue one. Then I gambled another Demetria Journey. Same. Oh, let me go reveal that right now. Let me go reveal Demetria's Journey right now. We're going to end this. We're going to end the, 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 whatever this is called. We're going to end it right now. Let me figure out how to do this. Let me go to the studios. Let me go reveal the Demetria. If you guys got one of these, Congratulations to you. If you didn't get one of these, you literally have one minute to go get one right now. Hit the link in the description. Go to the website, www.thekidarcade.com. Go and get yourself one of these. They're one Matic. As of right now, 48 of them have been minted. There is three rarities. There is, this is the, the uncommon. That's the secret rare. And we also, and we got, I think this is the common right here. This is the common. I believe we have six five about 30 of these we got 30 of these i believe we have 20 of these in circulation and we only have four of these all right this is the secret rare so what, I'm, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna stop stop the mint stop wait a minute pull my cup put some liquor in it all right let me see we're gonna go reveal this right now guys it is game time it's time to reveal it it's time to reveal we're not gonna waste any more time we're going to edit this, and we're going to put one day, done, save drop. I think it's done. Mint's going to be over right now. We're going to go reveal it right now. Congratulations to everybody. If you got Demetria the Secret Rare, you know what? Everybody that got one of these, I'm going to give you guys an airdrop tonight. Whoever got one of these, I'm going to give you guys an airdrop tonight. All right? So the, the drop is over. The drop is over. The drop is over. Let me go reveal these joints to see what you guys got. Mm to see what I got. Let's reveal. 
Let's reveal. Let's go. Are you sure you want to reveal? Yes. I want to reveal. Let's go reveal. There you go. Let's reveal. Yo, shout out to everybody, man. Good luck to you guys. If you guys got a secret rare, I'm going to give you guys a super, super rare prize. Yeah, I'm going to do airdrops tonight for everybody that got one of these. I don't want to tell you guys about the airdrop until it, it, it closed the mint. So, cause, you know, people just, you know, you know, you already know. You already know. All right. Um, what else are we talking about? Um, oh, yeah, we're revealing this. Should we just jump into the next topic and come back? I think we should jump into the next topic and come back. When is the Yoda dropping? When is the Yoda? I think the Yoda. Ooh, what is this? Okay, let me see the March recap and unboxing. You, did they replace um, Rebecca Poof, Mitch from NASCAR, Wednesday the 27th? Oh, that's tomorrow. Dr. Punchman, Elizabeth, and Rebecca. They replaced Steph Suto. And um, it's okay because Steph is in Peru doing ayahuasca, so she's good. She's good. All right, let me, let me, let me go back into the marketplace, see what's up with these, with these pieces. And what's up with these comics? Have you guys been buying anything? Are you guys going to go for this Darth Vader comic? That is the question that everybody needs to ask themselves. Are you going for this piece right here? Oh, it's revealed. It's revealed. Complete the reveal. Let me just make sure I do that. Let me sign the contract. Signature done. All right, let's go and check out this piece, man. Let's, let's go and check out this piece. Because I think we're all, oh, oh, that's right. We're getting Gwen. We're getting a spider Gwen. Mm, that's exciting. That's exciting. Oh, X-Men 97, less yapping, more scrapping, head back to the 90s with the X-Men 97, be one of the first to read Marvel X-Men 97, releasing on VV Comics, oh, this is coming down tonight at midnight, who's gonna stay up for this, I might stay up for this, I don't know, what up Zombie Attack News, how you feeling, smash that like button, win Marketplace, guys, if you guys are just joining us right now, go ahead, hit that like button like you hit the buy now button, because you never know, it could be a secret rare, also, let me know if you guys are going for the X-Men 97 comic today, man. Let me know. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a, I'm a little upset that I can't use gems to purchase comics. That sucks. I'm a little upset that you can't even use MCP points to purchase comics. That sucks. So I wonder if they're going to at least let me use gems. Otherwise, why connect my wallet so we can deliver you your comic, moron? I get it. But why connect my wallet if I can't use gems, bro? Bruv. Oh, I get it. It's a different platform. That's why they had to separate the platforms because Marvel wasn't trying to do gems. They're not trying to do all that. They're trying to simplify it. Yo, listen, buy it from us. Go go read it on Vivi. Buy it from us directly, though, because we're not giving Apple half our money. They're making up what they lost in this past three years. Man, Marvel is smart, bro. Mar Who's seen this? I, I haven't even seen the first episode because I'm scared. I don't want them to ruin it for me. So let me know in the comments down below if they ruin it for me. Also, Obi Rewards Season 2, April Fool's Day, Rise of the Comics. Comics. All right, we're going to go for this. Oh, Spider-Gwen, is there a oh, medium article? There is. We're not going to do that today, though. Where is the Star Wars comic? Where is? There it is. There it is. Uh, there's no medium article? There is. Let's go and check out this medium article, man. It's a lot of Star Wars happening right now. A lot of Star Wars. May the 4th be with you. April, May. Oh, my goodness. When Star Wars Day is coming up. Star Wars Digital Comics, Star Wars Darth Vader number one. I remember seeing this comic at the comic book store, bro. I should have got some. Now, this cover is nasty with it. Oh, I love this cover. Legendary cover, man. I love this cover. How do you guys feel about this? This is dropping tomorrow. Tomorrow. Are you able to use your MCP points? Yes. It's a modern comic. Yes. So it's not just... Oh, you know what? The Marvel website is just going to give you the comics in real time. This comic book came out last year sometime. So it's modern, but I, apparently it's not too modern. Darth Vader, that comic, that cover is legendary, bro. Like, seriously, man, that cover is legendary. The Darth Vader, this one is also legendary. I like this one, but if I was to choose one, i choose this one. I like this one. The way he's postured on top of that pedestal and he has his foot up, I love that. He, this one right here, he looks a little fat. I'm not going to lie to you. His head looks a little big. His torso is a little big. I, I think it's just the perspective of the camera, but I like the colors. I'm loving it. He looks a little, a little weird, though. Ooh, okay. 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 I like this one as well. Look at that. I like the composition, the colors, the white, the black, the blue. Mm. One. Oh, nice. Nice. I like to play on this. I like to play on this. 
the the reflections. Look at Luke. Is that Luke? I'm not even. I don't even watch Star Wars. I wouldn't even know. I think that is Luke when he was a kid. You know, Darth Vader. I like this one. This is probably my favorite cover. I mean, just looking at this piece right here, that's legendary. Is that the secret rare? Oh, that's the ultra rare. Okay. Ooh, this one looks hard. Okay. I see where you guys are going with this. 5,000 editions. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. 5,000 editions. Six ninety nine. Are you guys going to use any MCP points for this drop? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you using any MCP points for this drop? Let me know in the comments down below. I actually got more stuff to talk about, but I ran out of time. What do you guys think? Should I stay on here for a few more minutes and talk about the stuff that I got going on over here? Let me see. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, about the comic book. I don't know if I'm going to go for it. I'm going to be super honest with you guys. I don't know if I'm doing it. Um, oh, oh he called me truther. Did you guys read this? The NFT community is an effing joke. Oh, this guy got spicy, bro. I'm going to have to take this one slow. Should I read this now or should I read this later? Let me know in the comments. Let me get a one if you guys want me to stay live. Let me get a two if I should get out of here. I did buy seven. Now, the real question is how can we get more people to enter the digital collecting space? How can we overcome the negativity around NFTs? I think that there's going to be negativity around it because that's just what happens with the new technology. When the internet came, there was a FUD. When, when people started using ATMs, people didn't like that. Oh, no, I like using cash. I'm not using that plastic card. And now it's just an everyday thing. And then when you started using the tap, you didn't even need a, a debit card anymore. You could just tap it. Oh, I'm not using the tap. I need to physically hold my debit card. It's always going to be some FUD when it, there's new technology. But the thing is that when the world adopts it, you have no choice but to adopt it. When people started using ATMs, it wasn't a choice anymore. Everybody started accepting it. It just started becoming the new normal. So that's what's going to happen with these digital things. Now, in order for them to become mainstream, they're going to have to uh, be attached to physical items. For example, if you go buy a toy, you're going to have to attach a digital collectible with that toy. So then maybe the parents, maybe somebody's going to be like, oh, you know what? Let me go and check out this digital stuff. Oh, my goodness. There's a marketplace. There's a whole ecosystem. Maybe that's how we're going to get it and make it happen. I'm not too sure. I did seven buys on the drop one of them was a secret rare stormtrooper lucky seven that's right zombie attack nukes congratulations to you now the question is did you sell it right did you sell it hello master kid arcade you know what you know what i thought about if you would have sold your secret rare right on the drop and went off and bought all stormtroopers with the rest of that money you'd be up right now if you would have hold, held your secret rare today you would have lost money Hello, Master Kid RK. What's up, Jimbo Lee Lingo? How you feeling out here? Everything is not a collectible, especially if you are wanting numerous use cases. I think digital assets is the best term, in my opinion. Digital assets. Digass. Digass. Digital assets. Dig Digi-ass. No, that, you can't say that. Dig digital tests. Assets. To Acid, I don't know. I'm trying to combine two words, but I can't do it. Kryptoni, I agree. Digital assets is a better description. Although one of the things that makes ownerships is the limited edition sizes and limited editions is a criteria of collecting. Assets of cover all aspects, in my opinion. But yes, I agree, Kid Arcade. We need to dumb it down for the masses. I really hope I can display my Chico Roco collections in my metaverse of choice or Viviverse. Kryptoni. That's one of the things that I really, really bank on. Those are one of the things that I really, really hope for. The metaverse that's going to win is the metaverse that's going to support most assets in the blockchain. If there's a metaverse and you could only bring in certain things, it's not going to be as good as the one where you can bring in the most things. Now, to be able to bring in everything is a little bit crazy because there's so many layers in the blockchain. But whoever builds out the metaverse that has the most interoperability with the most projects is going to be the winner. I don't think that VV is going to allow their assets to go onto other places. If you guys would have had that, it would have devalued VV. 
So Vivi not allowing you to be interoperable for now is a good move because whenever they release the Vivi verse and you can start building out your spaces with your items, we need to be able to bring in, and I'm not too sure if you can, I haven't, you know, I don't know, but if Vivi, if you can bring in Ethereum or Polygon NFTs into Vivi, it's going to be over, over, over. Because then I could bring in all my stuff from Elmon X. Then I could bring in all my stuff from McFarland. And that is what we need. So I think that in my mind, Vivi would be the first one to make that happen. But if they don't allow that, then there's going to be issues, right? If they don't allow you to bring in outside NFTs into the Viviverse, there's going to be issues. So I hope that you're able to bring NFTs into the Viviverse. So then there's one hub that you can go to and bring in everything in, including having your Vivi stuff. All right, so let's read this guy's comment. The NFT community is a effing joke. It was first predicted on 200K monkey pictures. Then company after company, which went out of business, silly, useless hype projects. Just to be fair, Vivi is a hype project also. I'm playing devil's advocate. I know, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I'm not going to get a, a gold logo, but I don't care at this point. At the end of the day, What's up, David? Oh, you are going to be able to bring in your, your outside NFTs. Okay. But not in the beginning. Oh, I see. So once the Viviverse gets everybody has access to it, you won't be able to bring nothing in. But then you're going to pick beta users to start bringing it. Is there going to be restrictions on what you can and cannot bring? Like competitors and stuff like that? Oh, Polygon, Ethereum. I, you have to accept Ethereum, bro. Like, I got a lot of things on Ethereum that I would love to bring into the space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, I can really mean to say that you were a high project, but there's really no utility on VV right now. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm... Uh, all right, all right, I promise I won't say that out loud no more. Collecting is a utility. Collecting is a utility. I'm not going to lie to you because if we had a space where I can just show off my comics, I don't care about utility. Just having the comics is a flex. Even with collectibles, but I get it. You need some utility. Oh, the community will create their own. Okay. All right, let me just call you back because I'm in the middle of a live stream. All right, bye. No. I, I can't talk about that. I'm on a live. You brought her home? All three of them? They're still there? Just tell them that you got to go to work or something. Tell them you got to work on the Viviverse. Oh, you're trying to get them to download the app. Oh, they're going through KYC. I see. I, yo, you're smart, bro. You're all right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Next, next, next week, Tuesday, cheetahs. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. It's a hype project. Let's let's face it. It's a hype. Vivi doesn't need the NFT community because it isn't a real community. Ooh. I think it is a real community. I, I know what you're saying. You're talking about the NFT community is not real. And the Vivi is a real community. I think there is a real community in the NFT world as, as well. There's a lot of communities, sub-communities, sub that exist outside of Vivi. Don't think that Vivi is the only community, even though Vivi is the biggest, one of the biggest communities. There is a lot of communities out there. Vivi should be chasing true collectors and hardcore fans of varying genres. This is why waiting so long to capitalize on sports was a huge mistake. Same with music. The Vivi user based could have been 3x as big by now if they weren't so locked into one strain of collectors. Fantasy 
in comics. But I digress. The NFT community can either enjoy Vivi's offerings or pound sand. There is no longer any need to try to placate this imagery demographic. Now, he was responding to this post by Meta Rob Crypto, which says, why is Vivi official blackballed from the NFT community? And I'm going to say something that's going to be super crazy. I might get a phone call right now, but I'm not going to pick it up. I'm going to say something because nobody ever says it out loud, but I'm going to say it out loud. And it, kids, cover your ears. The NFT space doesn't respect Vivi because it doesn't see Vivi as NFTs. That's the honest truth. You not being able to take out your NFTs from Vivi's platform makes it a closed garden and it goes against Web3 principles that the NFT space really holds dire to their hearts. Which is okay. Because when the internet came out, a lot of people were using the internet, which is called the dark web, and people were getting scammed. So then the internet space had to be regulated by the FCC. So now you guys, you guys got to use the regulated internet, which is the dot com, which stands for dot commercial. There's going to be two different types of NFTs communities in the world. And there's going to be the black market, the, the dark web, and there's going to be the commercialized NFT space which is Vivi and the Vivi's in the forefront of that space. And there's other trails blazing behind, but there's going to be two different type of NFT communities. The purest, the hardcore people. Oh, it doesn't exist if it's not on Ethereum or Bitcoin or, or whatever. And then there's going to be the commercialized one where my mom could come in and safely buy an NFT without having to go through wallets and, and lose her change, change layers. It's complicated to buy stuff. I mean, if you go try to buy something on Elmon X, bro, good luck. Especially if you're a normie. Normies are not going to figure it out. They're going to be like, what? Discord? What? Wallet? Oh, what layer am I? No, Ethereum, Polygon. What? It's just way too much. They got to dumb it down. So I think that there's going to be a divide. There's going to be a civil Web3 world war between the purist and the commercialized digital assets, collectibles whatever you guys want to call it. So I'm going to end it right there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. How do you think the, the space is going to move forward? How do we attract the masses? To me, it's gamification, bro. When If something is fun, people don't care about how to do it. They're going to figure it out because it's fun, right? PlayStation, Grand Theft Auto, there's no more cartridges. There's no more. You got to download the game online. It, it's all moving digitally. The space, gamification, guys. If we don't have gamification, I don't know what we're going to do. Please like the video. Please subscribe. I got to get out of here, guys. How's everybody feeling out there, man? And please, 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 please hit that like button like you hit that buy now button because you never know. It could be a secret rare. I love you guys, man. Peace. Wait, 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 wait. I just saw the comments, guys. So sorry, sorry, sorry. I had to stop that right there. White Rabbit, I appreciate you for joining the channel and becoming a member. 3,500 editions, first appearance. Titans on Candy, back out early access. What's good, RKD? Yo, I'm going to have to check that out on Thursday, the Candy Drop. What's good, D? How you feeling out here? So I just wanted to read this. Tell everybody about Vivi after me consistently bringing Vivi up to the comic book store owners, local. All right. Okay. Zombie attack news. I, I, I'm going to make that a topic for tomorrow. One, stay on Kid Arcade. I can't. I got I, I to gotta go. I got I, I to gotta make breakfast for me and my girl. I got to go work on my boy's balloon. That sounds crazy. And um, I got to finish these paintings, guys. So, yo, Adriel Darrow, if you want a painting, bro, text me. Um, I take a little deposit. If anybody else is interested in paintings, y'all, I just want to um, shameless plug. Shameless plug. I've just got to put it out there in the universe. I just painted this. Miles Morales. Check it out. I just painted this Captain America. Check it out. If anybody, if anybody is interested in getting some paintings done, if you're a kid or a kid holder, I'll give it to you on the low. Like you already know what's up. But if anybody's interested in paintings, hit me up on a DM. I do commissions. Any character you want, it could be a painting of you, your daughter, Captain America, I'll, Captain America holding your daughter. It doesn't matter. I could make a painting of it. 
Hit me up on a DM. I take deposits, and it takes me about a month to finish a painting. Let me know in the comments down below. You are 100% correct, sir. I need the mouse arcade. Just text you, bro. Oh, Froey, call me. Bro, yeah, I could paint you something too, homie. You, Dro, I got both of you guys. And I'm only going to take commissions once a month um, because I can't really add on too much to my schedule. So maybe I'm going to keep a cap on like maybe three paintings, three to five paintings a month that I can really do. All right, guys, I'm getting out of here. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. It is easy. It is free. And um, I hope David, you calls me back, man, because I'm trying to get on the secret word whitelist for tonight's X-Men 97 comic. Peace.